We have a stop, 17th and Dumino. Going hot. And every time we enter those locations, drivers digging. It's a consistent fact. Nobody move. We go in, we come out with guns. This, the first thing I see is just the very, very. You got any, any of the guns on you? Tail end, the very bottom of a, of a gun. The LMPD's 9th Mobile Division patrols in the city's deadliest and most dangerous neighborhoods. They say criminals are getting their hands on higher quality weapons, and it's their job to get those guns off the streets. You learn a lot real quick on how to spot um, unusualness. According to police data, the 9th Mobile has seized more than 550 guns so far this year. That's about 2% more than the unit seized for all of last year. Okay. These individuals are possessing Glocks, 6 iron, a lot of really high-end, great-made weapons. 9th Mobile Commander Major Billy Hibbs says about 14% of guns seized so far this year have been reported stolen. He says criminals are targeting people who leave their guns inside their cars, sometimes with the doors unlocked. They'll go through a neighborhood all night long while we're all asleep, and somebody's come home from work, they're tired, they want to hit the bed, they forgot to bring their weapon in or just don't. And many of these guns taken from vehicles are higher quality and were purchased legally before being stolen. Guns have become a status symbol on the streets. If you're gonna, if you're gonna have a gun now, it's like a pair of tennis shoes. You might wanna have a good one. You know, what are you carrying? It's the same thing as a, as a nice pair of shoes or, or, or a quality shirt, whatever the case may be. Take off now. The unit is also seeing an almost 20% spike in the number of convicted felons caught with guns compared to last year. We've had individuals we've we've encountered multiple times, uh, and we were responsible for them getting their convicted felon status. And yes, we encountered them again with weapons. Some of those guns, like this revolver seized during a traffic stop, have their serial numbers scratched off. They have been shaved. Which is the arrestable offense? Is what he's being arrested on. Um, you can't have a gun with the serial number unreadable on it. Hibbs believes the 9th Mobile is getting results. Since the division started in September of 2015, more than 1,200 guns are off the streets. These detectives we have here is, they've watched individuals mature in these areas as they've matured as detectives in this unit. And it's been fantastic. And the results show it. And he says the community is reaping the benefits. But we work hard and we do it in the areas where people want us. And when we go there, we leave and we've got numbers. Emily Maha, WLKY News.